turned an eyesore into a point of pride at Riverside Park. Yeah, if you walked by the basketball court last week, I mean, it was anything but inviting. But tonight, WMAR 2 News, Eddie Kadem was in the paint. Get it? In the paint. Mm -hmm. With two of us teaching us all that a couple of buckets of paint and a lot of love can make a lot of difference. Bouncing a ball on broken glass isn't fun. And it's hard to get in a rhythm when everything around you looks forgotten. It just wasn't inviting. It, was, it didn't feel <coughs> safe. Broken glass all over the place. Patrick Horvitt spent the last 11 years in this neighborhood playing on this court. He's never even seen it have lines on it. And this is just something that got forgotten. So I think it takes uh, community involvement, community action to come together and say it's not just about me and my house or my street, that it's, it's these eight blocks that can come together and build something and, and change the environment. So Patrick and Ben got to work, ripping up weeds and picking up trash, creating a blank canvas to work on. I actually invented this little tape gun on the end of a broomstick with two tape guns um, and just kind of rolled it out to create the two tape lines where we would paint in between. You got that one, Patrick is a graphic designer. He got a creative assist from the history books. They renamed the court the fort. A, a war image from 1812 of the U.S. troops fighting the British troops, kind of pushing them back. Um, and this, this park was a vital part of that. And then with the other backboard, we did an American flag uh, to kind of represent that. And we did it in a style that was kind of vintage and old. Yeah. So again, it tied in with the history. On the fort's first day, its creators were proud to see it full of young people. It gives them a reason to play. You know, they can keep score. They know where the three-point line is. It creates excitement for people that want to play on the court. And that's, that's what it's about. A court with a stroke of new life. We played a game of horse yesterday, and I got the best of Pat, but we were making some crazy shot. He'll have to tell you about his glitch shot that he made on me last night. The fort holding up hope in this community. At Riverside Park, Eddie Kadem, WMAR 2 News.